Hey guys, it's me, Rocky. Today I'm going to show you how to auto-tune your voice for free in con in with Audacity. Okay, first you go to your web browser. I'm going to go to Google Chrome. Oh, I'm sorry for a lie because like, some, something's wrong with my computer. I'm trying to fix it. You go to Audacity. That's .net. Yeah, you click that. Click that. Um, you go to download Audacity 1.3.12 beta. Just download it. Okay, you download the 1.3.12 installer or either the zip file. I prefer it so it's easier. It's loading. Yeah. You save it, then you install it. When you're done with that, you go to audacityteam.org forward slash VST. Forward slash VST. Yeah. Forward slash there. Okay. Oh, the links are in the description, so you don't have to worry about that. You go to Wind you click on the first one for Windows. Yeah, save it. Oh, by the way, this only works for Windows. This first part is only only works for Windows. So sorry, Mac people in Linux. Okay, once once you're done with that, you save it, install it. Then you go to this website, gvst.co.uk forward slash gsnap.html or HTML, whatever. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I meant. HTML, HTML. Okay, you download the down, you download the G Snap forward slash Grimjack skin. You open it. You open it up. And extract your following location. Select it, extract to OSC, your C drive, or whatever drive your OS is in, your program files. Audacity 1. Point, you click on the beta one if you got the beta, and you click plug it in, you click OK. I'm not going to do it because already did it. So close that out. Once you're done with that, you open up Audacity. You open it up. Okay, and then you can either import your own file by going to File, Import, Audio, or you can record it by clicking on this red button right there. Yeah, that red button right there. Okay, yeah. Oh, but I didn't have my mic on when I was recording this, so it's a straight line. So if you have your mic on, it's like bumpy and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Now, all you have to do is highlight the part of your audio that you want to auto tune. Then, then you go to Effect and click on GBST G Snap. Okay. You go to Configure. Choose which choose which key you want. I'm gonna pick C because and change your scale to whatever. Uh, this, these are my settings. You don't have to put these, but this is what works best. Okay. Forty min frequency, two thousand max frequency. You put the gate to negative eighty. Speed two or one. 2 or 1, doesn't matter. Thresh amount, thresh 100, amount 100, attack 1, release 1, and keep the bottom the same. And you can click preview if you want. Okay, for some people, like, this doesn't work, because I don't know why, but if it doesn't work, you can, if you, and you have Sony Vegas, this is what you do for it. Can just win for this, K, 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 K. It's waiting. 
waiting. Okay, here's like I'm gonna go now. I'm going. And going. Closing. Closing. Now. Okay. 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 If you have some biggest, you don't have to download the first two. You just go to gbst.co.uk forward slash gsnap and download that file. Yeah, that gsnap grimjack skin. You open it up. But you extract the file location, extract to OS program files, program files, and you down click on VST plugins. Yeah, that. Yeah, you click on it and click OK. You will extract it. I already did it. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. Then you go to Sony Vegas. Record something or import your own file. I'm gonna record it because it's easier. Blah 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 blah. Points. Like and yeah, yeah. Okay, when that's done, stop it. Yeah, done. Save it. Just highlight your file. And you click on that green thing, track effects. And you click on the little green thing again. Click G Snap and add. Click add. So for the lag, once again, stupid computer. Click add. Click OK. And you do the same thing you did for Audacity. Um, I saved my files, so like it all on it automatically load up the thing I want. Click, and that's it, guys.